And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video as always we are going to be going over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours that includes some transfer news. Yes, you can read the headline there guys, a deal has set to be agreed with an incoming, very very exciting one there indeed, we'll get to that a bit later on, but of course uh, the break news this morning is with regards to the Premier League fixtures and that they have been released for the 2024-2025 campaign. Um, it provides, of course, on a slot A roadmap for his debut campaign in England with a tough run-in seeing consecutive games against Tottenham, Chelsea and Arsenal. Um, for our first game, guys, on the 17th of August, surprise, surprise, we've got a 12.30 kickoff and it's against uh, newly promoted side Ipswich Town away from home. Followed by that, of course, our first home game being against Brentford. Uh, and then we've got the game against Manchester United away from home on the end of August, on the 31st of August. Um, some other big games, of course, uh, are in October. We've got back-to-back -back games against Chelsea and Arsenal. And then obviously our next, our first game against Manchester City will be on the 30th of November at home at Anfield. Uh, looking at some more of the congested areas of the Gulf Skies, December sees our first uh, Merseyside derby as we take on Everton away from home. Uh, the Christmas fixtures are Tottenham away, Leicester City at home. Uh, and then going into the new year, we've got Manchester United at home on the 4th of January, one for your for your diaries. Uh, in February, we've got Manchester City away on the 22nd. Uh, and then our next Next, uh, our last Merseyside derby will, of course, be on the 2nd of April at Anfield. And then our run-in is Chelsea away, Arsenal at home, Brighton away, then Crystal Palace at home. So no Wolves for us on the final day of the season, For uh, thank God. Um, but a pretty, an easy start, I think. I say an easy start. It's a bit disrespectful. There's no easy game in the Premier League. But, um, you know, as, as first for the easy, not easy, uh, you know, way to get yourselves in there, um, wet your feet. Um, an all right start for us as we've got Ipswich, Brentford, Manchester United, Nottingham Forest, Bournemouth, Wolves, Crystal Palace. So again, it's not too bad in terms of our, our actual games and hopefully we can get ourselves in a rhythm. Um, but yeah, a, a decent uh, start for us. Um, and of course, you know, it's the fixtures. They're going to be playing everyone twice. Um, so it doesn't really matter when you play them, apart from at the start of the season, I suppose. You don't really want to be playing um, all your hardest fixtures right at the start of the campaign. But yeah, we'll be playing uh, Premier League new boys, um, of course, under McKenna. Um, and to be fair, we always usually kind of get a, um, a newly promoted side. It never went plain sailing in the 2022-2023 season. I remember drawing to Fulham when they had just been promoted so uh, here's hoping we um, can do do well but as stated the Premier League fixtures are out um, and what do you think of them let me know down there in the old comment section below now let's get straight into some transfer news guys as stated um, a lot of our news has been with regards to outgoings as of late but it does look like we are close to agreeing and completing our first incoming of the transfer window yes Liverpool are understood to be close to finalising their first signing of the summer through Wolves Alvin a man would be a rival for the academy. Yes, the Reds pulled off a double coup last summer with deals for Trey Nioni and Amaran Nalo, who joined as 16-year-olds from Leicester and West Ham, respectively. Considerable fees were agreed for the pair as they made a swift rise from the under-18s to the fringe of the first team, both involved in match days under Jurgen Klopp. Liverpool could now hope to repeat this with the signing of versatile 16-year-old Eamon from Wolves, according to multiple reputable sources. They're said to be close Closing on, uh, close to completing a deal for the teenager who travelled with Gary O'Neill's senior side for their 5-1 defeat at Manchester City in May. Any compensation package could rise to £1.5 million if all the targets are met, which would be a sizable fee for a player with no first-team experience. Eamon operates as a left-sided centre-back, though he can play in the midfield, from which he has scored with his first touch in a 3-1 win over Leicester under-17s in January. He spent the majority of the season with Wolves under-18s, though made his debut for the under-21s in Premier League 2 in March, coming off of the bench against both Derby and 
Everton. The youngster only joined Wolves in 2023, having previously represented Bradford City, signing a scholarship deal with the West Yorkshire club when he was still a part of the under-14s. The likelihood is that we will now move again with Liverpool hoping to serve as a more permanent home for a very, very, very good wonder kit. Eamon could initially join as a part of Mark Bridge Wilkinson's under-18 squad, though it's believed that he's already made the contact with the members of the club's under-16s group. Liverpool signed another young defender from Wolves last summer with Harvey Owen, then 14, joining the under-16s in a deal worth £800,000. Guys, this is a lot of money. Uh, £1.5 million pounds for a 16-year-old. Um, as you can see, um, our academy probably is the best in the in the league at this moment in time. And you could see that um, last season when we were in the, 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 the cup final and towards the end of the season and all these kind of things, uh, they did play a huge role. And whilst people will be like, well, you know, he's just joining the thing. Guys, it's one point five million pounds we're spending on a 16 year old uh, he will be integrated in the first team we'll probably see him on the bench at some point next season so don't turn your nose up here it could be one for the future we remember uh people weren't really that going crazy when we signed ben doke on similar terms um, and Ben Doak, you know, was pretty much on the bench, made it a first team debut that campaign. So again, um, show him all the respect um, that he deserves. One point five million pounds for a sixteen year old is a lot, and obviously must be doing something special if the club are going to be shedding out that kind of fee for for a player at such a young age. Now moving on to other sort of transfer news, guys. Of course, there has really only been the the, the news with regards to um, uh, Lenny Yoro. However, we all believe in the Liverpool space at this moment in time that his only destination is going to be Real Madrid. We just have a feeling it always is the same every single time. Um, however, uh, we have been interested, apparently reportedly interested, in another signing. Yes, Liverpool are reportedly among the clubs who are credited with an interest for Crystal Palace and England centre-back Mark Gahey, though the 23-year-old would not be cheap. Gahey made a statement um, start for England at tournament level uh, with a 1-0 victory over Serbia in the kickoff to the 2024 Europe, uh, Euro Euro championship campaign. His inclusion as a part of Gareth Southgate's starting lineup may have been surprised some, though he has been one of the most consistent centre-backs in the Premier League over the past three seasons. Despite Palace's impressive end to the campaign under new manager Oliver Glasner, it stands to reason that their number six could be looking for the next step. According to the Telegraph's Matt Law and the Mail's Sam Mokabul, that could be lead Guy to move to Liverpool. Law claims that the former Chelsea youngster is a target for the Reds, having already caught his attention of those in the field hierarchy prior to his England breakthrough. His contract situation at Selhurst Park, which will see him enter the final two years of his terms this summer, is said to have alerted Liverpool with more clubs expected to come forward. Both Law and Mokobu claim that Palace would only consider bids in the region of £65 million, with the latter claim of Manchester United and Tottenham are also closely monitoring. Um, Palace are set to explore the possibility of offering the talented defender a contract extension, Mokabul writes, but it remains to be seen whether Gay would be given or would be open to signing fresh terms, given the fact there is a likely to be top level interest in him over the coming weeks. Whether Liverpool are genuinely interested in Gay remains to be seen, though they are keen to be in the market for a defender this summer. As a young Premier League proven left sided centre back, he could certainly fit the description, particularly given the uncertainty over Virgil van Dijk's future. So, again, look, of course, um, Probably not everybody's first choice, but look, Premier League proven in terms of a left-sided centre-back um, and someone that could probably would certainly improve our team. So uh, one to watch there at this moment in time. But Liverpool fans, do let me know your thoughts on the fixture release. Do let me know your thoughts on the first signing of the transfer window down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Uh, remember to check out our clothing store, copbikeclothing.com. Link is down in the description or go to copbikeclothing.com. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you next time. Take care.